so we're looking at question 507 uh perfect number um so let's just go through the question we define the perfect number as a positive integer that is equal to the sum of all of its positive divisors except itself now given an integer n write a function that returns true when it is per I mean it is a perfect number and false when it is not so um when you when you see the example here 28 it has these divisors 1 2 4 7 14 and the other divisor would be 20 Eight, but the question here is the sum of all of its positive uh, divisors except itself. So when you add all of this, um, you get 28. So the solution would be divided into two parts. First part would be getting all the divisors of a particular number and then adding them up to see if um, see if it adds up to num. So let's get started. So the base case would be if num is equal to one, you would just return return true. Um, return true, and then let's say int sum is equal to um, zero, and then you would want to go over all of the divisors. So you would start with n i uh, int i is equal to two, i is less than um, mod dot square root square root of num um, i plus plus so you would say if um, num summation and uh, not summation uh, mod i is equal to zero then you would uh, what would you do you would add i and you would add the other divisor as well and divide it by i so the reason why you're doing square root is that once you do um uh, once you get i you can also get the other divisor that you need to get the number so um this way we're just reducing our calculations um yeah and then you would in the end just return if num is equal to sum. Uh, and the other thing we need to do is actually we need to initialize this to one because we're starting this by two uh, so that we don't get one plus 28. So this way we're adding one and then starting with two. Perfect, let's just run. Um, one is true. Hmm. I guess uh, output expected false. I don't know why that's false, but okay. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so the space complexity would be of one because we're not really uh, uh, saving anything uh, constantly. We just have one variable, which is the sum, and then the uh, time comp uh, complexity would be O of n. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Um, all right.